Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today we're doing a yin flow practice, one of my very favorite ways. So really yummy, juicy, slow, deep. You will need two blocks for the practice, any other cushions or soft towels or blankets that you'd like to support some of the shapes, you can grab those. And we'll set up in my all-time favorite supported fish. So you're going to take one block to the back of your mat on the highest height, and then one block just in front of that with a little bit of space on this medium height. So this block here is going to go right down the center of your spine, right in between your shoulder blades at the back of your heart. So we'll come to lay down and it takes a second to adjust yourself. You'll want to make sure that the bottom edge of this block is just at the back of your rib cage, kind of where a bathing suit strap might be if you're a woman. And then lay down and let that tall block be a support for the back of your head. And your knees can stay bent. You might take your feet wide and knock your knees together, or you can send your legs straight forward like a Shavasana leg. And either way, you wanna let your arms roll out to the sides, forearms rest down and palms face up. And then close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in and a long breath out through your mouth, letting it go. Just continuing to deepen your breath as you allow yourself to rest here. And your shoulder heads roll towards either edge of the block. Brain heavy to the back of your skull and into the support of the block beneath. If your legs are straight, letting them be passive and relaxed, your toes can naturally splay open to the sides. Relax the muscles of your face. Jaw unhinges. And just start to watch your body breathe. Notice how and what you feel. Is there anything that you've arrived to your mat with today? Anything that you might be carrying, holding on to? Just notice what's present. What is alive in the heart today? Breath continues to deepen. Your body starts to just melt around the blocks that are beneath you. And we take just a few more breaths in stillness. slowly start to reach your fingertips back like you do when you just wake up in the morning and you can hook your thumbs and stretch your fingertips back far and feel the weight of your arms dropping down and if your legs are straight start to bend your knees and plant your feet just below and press into your feet and lift your hips up away from the ground and this will start to send a bit more weight and sensation into your upper back. And then release your thumbs, cactus your arms, your elbows bend, and just start to draw your elbows down, tracing towards your hips, and then extend your arms straight. 
And he'll move a few times in this way. So breathing in here, fingertips are reaching back. And then breathing out, you start to bend your elbows, cactus your arms, draw them down. And if there's any other way that you'd like to move here that feels good, you're just using this block as a way to massage that sticky space behind the heart and in between the shoulders. And take just one more round of movement with your arms. And then you'll slowly set your hips back down. Arms come alongside your body. Curl your chin to your chest, forearms press down. You lift yourself up carefully, mindfully. Soles of your feet come together, heels a little far away from you. And then just bring your hands out in front. Curl your chin into your chest and let your spine round. And start to bring yourself back upright. Move these blocks out of the way. You can shift them towards the top of your mat. Bring your knees together and into your chest as you roll all the way down onto your Apanasana, just holding your knees in close, maybe a little rock side to side. Get back down on the ground, knees bent, arms into a wide cactus shape, so the whole of your upper back spreads nice and wide on the ground. All of these moments of stillness offering you an opportunity to return to your breath. Cultivate a deeper connection with yourself. And you'll take your right ankle, cross it over your left knee for a figure four. And you can stay here with your left foot down or you might lift your left foot up. Draw your knees in, maybe weaving your hands through, holding on to your left calf, your left shin, your left thigh. Our yin practice gives us a lot of space, a lot of stillness. If you're someone that's used to moving quickly, then this might present a little bit of a challenge. Welcome it, lean into it. Another breath here in your figure four. Release your left foot back down to the mat, arms back into a cactus shape, glide your right knee over the left so your knees stack and drop both knees to the left and find a twist. Giving yourself permission to make any little adjustments that you need to make, anything that facilitates more comfort within the shape. Long, slow breath. And start to Unravel back through center, unwind your legs, both feet step down, pause for a moment. Get in the habit of noticing, observing. And cross your left ankle over the right knee, figure four on the opposite side. 
Whichever variation feels best for you here, it doesn't need to be the same thing you did on the other side. It might be. Right foot back down, arms return to that cactus shape, left knee on top of the right, knees drop. arms inside of your legs, grabbing shins, ankles, outer edges of feet, wherever you can reach. Letting your knees fall wide to the outer edges of your ribs. Breathing really low into your belly, your pelvis. Rock a little side to side, and if you're comfortably holding on to the outer edges of your feet, then as you rock to your left, you can let your left leg straighten and your right heel draw in. And same, same, as you go to the right, your right leg kicks straight and your left heel draws in. Just doing this a few times back and forth. Eventually coming back to center, knees hug together. Just roll over to your left side. You can stretch your left arm out. Use it as a little pillow for your left ear. Pause for a moment here. And gently starting to press yourself up and around and make your way to a child's pose. So bringing your big toes together, separate your knees nice and wide so your belly's got some space and stretch your arms forward and ground your forehead down.
And slowly start to lift up towards tabletop. Fingers spread nice and wide. Knees beneath your hips. Curl your toes. Soften your belly. Ripple your heart open on an inhale. Round and curl. Press the ground away on your exhale. And just moving with the rhythm of your breath. Cow and cat. Inhaling to open and expand. And exhaling to round and contract. Seeing if you might use the entire length of an inhale to open to your cow pose and the entire length of your exhale to round and curl into your cat. Three more rounds. Untuck your toes, have a seat back on your heels. Glide your fingertips all the way back behind your toes. Roll your arms together, offer your heart up. Take a breath in and stay for the breath out. And then start to spill your heart forward. Let your hips rise over your knees as you glide your hands forward and now melt your heart towards the earth, Anahatasana. Maybe your chin comes down or forehead rests or maybe your head is a little higher beneath your upper arms. Just this intention of dropping heart towards the earth. Gaze forward and slowly, carefully make your way onto your belly. Bring your fingertips out wide beneath your elbows, feet about to the edges of your mat. And then on an inhale, roll your heart up. And on an exhale, melt it down. And we'll do that twice more. Rolling cobra, inhale to rise. Open, expand across your heart. Exhale to soften it down. Last one. Breathing in, rise up. And breathing out, roll down. Place your hands beneath your shoulders and press yourself back to your child's pose. Reconnect with your breath. Shift forward towards tabletop, tuck your toes, this time sitting bones to the sky, downward facing dog. You can step your feet a bit wider apart, soften your knees, melt heavy through your heels. Shake your head yes, shake it no. I'm just inviting a little bit of movement into your dog, so perhaps pedaling opposite heels. Swaying hip side to side. You might pivot on the balls of your feet. Turn your toes to the left and to the right. And just moving organically within the shape. There's no right or wrong or specific instruction. It's just how you want to move.
And then we'll start to walk our hands to meet our feet at the back of the mat. So heels drop, generous bend to your knees, hang heavy over your legs. Back of your neck, nice and long, crown of your head emptying onto the earth. Maybe you hold opposite elbows here in a rag doll in front of your shins, or maybe you wrap your arms around your calves, hold opposite wrists. And you'll release your hands, deep bend into your knees, start to round yourself all the way up. Roll your shoulders up and back, palms face forward. Just take a moment, standing tall, find your breath, close your eyes. And inhale to circle your arms to the sky. And exhale to fold all the way down over your legs. Bring your right fingertip center on your mat. Bend your right knee. Open your left arm to the sky and let your left leg straighten. And take a breath in all the way up across your left arm into your hand. And then lower your left fingertips down. Replace the right left knee bends, right leg straight. Open your right arm to the sky. Inhale. And on exhale, lower down, both knees are bent, fingertips down, halfway lift, inhale, and fold. Walk your hands forward, back to your downward facing dog. Step your big toes together to touch and sweep your left leg to the sky. Bend your knee and roll open through your hip. And then lower your left foot down next to your right and send your right leg to the sky. Once again, bend your knee, open your hip. A few breaths here. You can stay still or you can move. Right foot comes down. Drop your knees to the ground, have a seat on your heels, untuck your toes, fingertips behind your toes, roll your heart open, breath in. Spill your heart forward, Anahatasana, heart melting pose, hands glide forward, hips stay stacked over your knees, heart to the ground. Roll forward onto your belly. Fingertips wide beneath your elbows, rolling cobra. Inhale, lift up. And exhale to soften down. This time you plant your left hand. Send your right arm straight out to the right, palm facing down, and you'll roll onto your right side body, resting your right ear down. You can stay here with your legs stacked or bend your left knee towards the sky and step your foot behind your bottom leg. And you're pressing actively into your left hand to roll open, let your left shoulder stack above the right. We'll breathe here for a couple of minutes, so making sure that you're comfortable. You close your eyes. And you can stay as you are, or if you'd like a little bit more sensation, you can open your left arm to the sky and then find a half bind with your left forearm around your lower back.
and you slow your breath down. If you have your left arm around your lower back, carefully unwind it, spring your hand back. And we'll roll right into our half frog. So left knee bends out and up towards your left ribs. Your arms come into a cactus shape. And your right ear rests down. Alternative name for this shape is earth hug. So your right leg is straight and your left knee is bending up towards your left elbow. And you just rest here and breathe against the ground. Watching your back body as it rises and falls with breath. Allowing yourself to relax here, to soften, to open. Final few breaths. And take your left hand and place it beneath your left shoulder, just enough to lift your chest up so you can take your right arm, weave it under like a thread the needle shape, Right shoulder drops, right ear drops. Now you'll open your left arm up and start to turn open, letting your left shoulder fall all the way back towards the ground. It probably won't touch and that's okay. And you're in this nice juicy twist. Feeling your left shoulder heavy, falling away from your chest. Carefully turning back towards your right side. Left hand comes down. Unwind your right arm. 
send your left leg straight back and just stack your hands rest your forehead down breathe your belly into the ground Final breath. And we'll just switch sides. So reach your left arm straight out to the left. And press into your right hand. Roll onto your left side. An option to keep your legs stacked or bend your right knee and step it on the ground behind you. Allow your breath to support you in this shape. You can stay as you are, or if you're open for a little bit more, you reach your right arm up and half bind forearm around your lower back. And keep drawing your right shoulder away from your right ear. If at any point it feels like too much, you can always unwind your arm and come back to where you were before. Carefully bringing your right hand back down and rolling right into half frog. So right knee bending out and up, chest resting on the ground, cactus your arms, rest one of your ears down, close your eyes. Watch your body breathe. And soften where you can.
And final few breaths. You can press your right hand down to rise your chest up just enough to create the space to weave your left arm through. Your right knee glides in a bit as you roll open onto your back, right shoulder falls open, arm wide or hand into a cactus shape. Letting your breath travel up your spine and across your heart as it opens you. Right knee is most likely lifted away from the ground, that's okay. Slowly turning back towards your left. Right arm comes down, right leg straightens. Unwind your left arm and rest down. Stack your hands, rest your forehead. Glide your hands beneath your shoulders, press yourself up to a tabletop. And from tabletop, we're just gonna take it right to half pigeon. So your left knee comes forward and wide behind your right wrist. You walk your shin across your mat, walk your right knee back. And if your left sitting bone is really elevated, then consider a block beneath it. Otherwise you might use a block in front of you Come down onto your forearms and rest your forehead. And you can take that block on any heights. And really allow yourself to just surrender into this shape. So all of those little parts of your body that tend to clench or tense up, can you invite them to open and let go? Sending really full breaths into your low belly and your hips.
in time, you might notice that you soften a little closer towards the ground. Take 10 more rounds of breath here. Long and slow. Continuing to soften as you breathe. rising up on your hands. If you have a block beneath your sitting bone, move it out of the way. We'll sit onto our left seat and sweep our right leg around. So the sole of your left foot comes to your right inner thigh and then take your blocks and bring them to frame your right shin. I'm just wiggling back a little. Hands on your blocks, inhale and lift up and find this flat back and this open heart. And then on your exhale, start to crawl forward and see if you might take your forearms down to the blocks. And that might mean that the blocks come up onto a higher height. And then just let your head drop. Notice if there's any unnecessary tension in your jaw. If you can soften it, let your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. Same thing here, you might notice that in time and with breath, with the softening, you might lower a little bit closer towards your leg, perhaps taking the blocks to a lower setting. And take a breath in, start to lift up halfway, like you're drawing your heart towards your right toes, look forward. And then on your exhale, fold back down. And then slowly rise all the way up. Take both blocks inside of your right leg and take your right leg wide over to the right. You might walk your left shin in a little bit and then we'll fold center so walk your blocks forward towards the top of your mat resting your forearms down and drop your head and if this is way too deep of a stretch for you then you can stay a little bit more upright 
Maybe bringing the blocks closer and just resting your forearms and dropping your head. Always giving yourself permission to be exactly where you are. It's in the acceptance of things as they are that they have the freedom to change. So relaxing wherever you are, softening and breathing there. Inhale and lift up halfway, shine your heart forward. And exhale and fold back down, maybe a little bit deeper. And slowly start to rise up. And you'll just swing your right leg back and come back to a tabletop. Move your blocks off to the side. And give a little wiggle and shimmy of your hip side to side. Circle your hips around. And tuck your toes under, lift your sitting bones to the sky. A final downward facing dog, drop your heels, heavy your head. Just breathe some length into the backs of your legs as your heels drop towards the ground. They don't ever have to actually touch, just the intention of them reaching that way. And then from here, or first dropping your knees to a tabletop, our right shin will come forward for half pigeon, knee nice and wide. Set yourself up by walking your left knee back. A block is there for support if you'd like it. And then coming down onto your forearms, maybe on top of blocks, resting your forehead. Again, perhaps it's on a prop. Every breath, an invitation to let go. Just starting to let some of those layers melt away. Softening the sharp edges of self. Final few breaths here.
If you'd like to linger for a little bit longer, you can stay. If you're ready to come out, gently pressing yourself up and removing any props that you might be on so you can sit to your right side, sweep your left leg around until it touches the sole of your right foot. Take your blocks to frame your shin. Inhale and find length and exhale to walk forward and fold. Letting yourself get heavier with time, with breath. It's a practice of patience. Relax your jaw the muscles of your face. Take an inhale and lift up just halfway, reach your heart forward. And an exhale to fold down, perhaps a little bit deeper this time. And sometimes the deepening in a shape is so subtle that we might not notice a physical difference, but we can feel a deeper layer that we've accessed. Sometimes it's just a deepening of our presence, our awareness. You slowly start to rise up and Take your blocks forward inside of your left leg. Your left leg can come open a little bit wider. And we fold center. And inhale and lift up halfway, gazing forward, lengthen your spine, and exhale to melt down. Head drops. Slowly rise all the way up. Just take your blocks over to the side. And bend your left knee in. Both feet plant. Come down onto your back. You can take your feet wide and let your knees knock together and either open your arms into this cactus shape or rest your hands on top of your body. Reconnect with yourself here.
inhale till your feet together to touch and let your knees fall open wide and your blocks are here if you'd like to use them to support your outer knees. Coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. Again, arms on top of you or overhead. And letting yourself give in to gravity here. Your body falling open. Receive the moment. One at a time, begin to straighten your legs forward, keeping them nice and wide, stretching them long, and coming into your final resting shape, letting your body open up into Shavasana, arms alongside you, palms turn up, feet turn open to the sides. And any last little traces of effort, leave your body. Full and complete rest.
And begin to deepen your breath. And let your awareness return to your body. Start to invite in a little bit of movement to your fingers and your toes, and your wrists and your ankles. Taking your time as you gently begin to wake back up. Eventually rolling to your left side, maybe using your left upper arm as a pillow for your head. Seeing if you can keep your eyes closed as you gently rise back up into a seat. Your sitting bones root you to the ground, and the crown of your head rise towards the sky. Feel your breath moving freely up and down, in and out. And once again, observe and acknowledge how you feel. What a beautiful gift it is to be alive in this body. Take your hands into a prayer at your heart. Take a deep breath in, filling all the way up, letting your heart rise to your thumbs, and a long breath out, bowing your head down to your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste.